I'm Jamie Ritchie, flanker. Hi, I'm Jamie Sebastian, tight head prop. I'm Hugh Jones and I play centre. <laughs> I think the first thought when we arrived in Nice, it was hot. I mean, I hadn't played yet, um, so I was excited about getting the opportunity to play. We trained well leading up to the game. Obviously, um, the weather's a slightly hotter in Nice, so that was a bit, not necessarily daunting, but um, that was something we had to contend with around training. Yeah, we trained down at Stade Nismar, which is where we trained sort of in that first block of pre-season. Um, so we were familiar with it. We'd had the first two tests at home. Uh, we'd won both of those. The second half in that home test against France was good. It gave us confidence knowing that we had that in us, like we'd be able to fight back from, from 21 points down. Um, there's not many teams in World Rugby that can do that. We were excited about going to face them again the next week. We had the team run at the stadium, which was really cool. Um, sort of a smaller, compact stadium, I mean, I say smaller, smaller than some of the stadiums we play in, but still pretty big. <laughs> Yeah, when we arrived at St Etienne, obviously um, first impressions of the stadium were that it was really close to the pitch and uh, yeah, it was going to be a really cool place to play. I was going to say bonjour, oh, but you're all Scottish. Right. How are you? Well, How are you doing? Bonjour. Uh, okay. right. I know. Bonjour. Really excited to get back into playing. I've uh, been frustrated, not frustrated, but um, sad to have missed out the last couple of weeks. was um, looking forward to hopefully getting a run out of Murrayfield. But, I've had to wait until this week, so yeah, really excited to get going. It's a little bit hotter than at home, but um, yeah, no, I'm feeling fit. I uh, feel like I've had a good pre-season, so looking forward to it. Uh, we want a fast start. Um, that's probably something that we've touched on, that we've spoken about bringing into our sessions uh, all of this week. Starting really well and uh, looking to finish as well as we did last week as well, but looking for yeah, more of an 80-minute performance. Knowing that I've not been able to play just because of having that little calf injury, um, has made it easier. It's not like you've been left out due to, to selection or stuff or anything like that. And 
like we say, we knew that everyone was going to get an opportunity uh, more or less to play in these these four games. So yeah, look, it's it's a different experience not being out there on the field, but it's it's one that um, there was a different challenge for me. It could ha it could potentially happen in the World Cup. Thank you very much. Playing home, playing away, if there's an atmosphere, um, it makes everything more exciting, it makes everything better. I remember coming out for the warm up, the crowd started singing, and I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear the person next to me shouting, I couldn't hear any calls. It was, it was really cool uh, just to have that sort of level of excitement sort of surrounding the game. Didn't matter that it wasn't for us, um, they were singing for their team, but it just, it makes it, it makes it so much better. I really enjoy those kinds of atmospheres. It's really noisy, like it's a pretty cool stadium to be involved. It gets you, it gets you up for the game. Um, you got to see it as a positive because if you can, if you become intimidated by those atmospheres, then uh, you're going to be pretty stuck. So yeah, for me, it's a, it's a great thing. And it was, yeah, it was a really good atmosphere. One, probably one of the, the best I've played in. Probably one of the best places I've played, and a bit crazy. The, the crowd were amazing. There's so much noise, you barely hear the calls that we were making. So, loved it. I felt like we were the better team for the majority of the game, uh, apart from kind of a five, ten minute blip in the middle where we let them score two pretty easy tries. <laughs> Towards the back end of the game, thought we lifted again. Our fitness came into show and put on a good performance. We just fall short of the the result at the end. A couple of tiny mistakes that in in Test match rugby that that costs you. It's it's seven points for just the smallest switch off, and I'd say that cost us the game. We did well to come back into it and, and fight back and and get close against one of the top two three teams in the world. Um, you have to be on it for 80 minutes. It was all a bit of a whirlwind after 2019, just came back in a few games and then we had the Six Nations and it was COVID so it seems like, a, like forever ago that period and I can't really believe that it's only been four years. Uh, sometimes it feels like it was just yesterday and sometimes it feels like it was a lifetime ago. But uh, yeah, no, I didn't really think I'd be, we'd be captaining this one. Life's changed quite a bit. Um, obviously a new role with the team now, being captain and things. Uh, not one of the young lads anymore, as much as I'd like to think I am. Um, but yeah, no, I feel more settled and yeah, really excited about, about the team we, we've got together at the moment. Yeah, it was just a crazy day. Um, all the reporters and stuff asking you questions and just trying to get to know a bit more about you personally. It was a bit out of the blue moving to Scotland in the first place. Um, so I didn't really look into it much until I started really focusing on rugby, putting my head down um, until I got that call, well, call off Gregor saying that he wanted me to come to camp. 
that's when the clock started ticking and thought, right, yeah, I could give this a good go. So I was due to become a father for the third time. My partner, Kaylee, um, she was back home in Wales and uh, she was heavily pregnant. I had a decision to make whether to go home, be there for the birth or be in camp and win my first cup. Me and Kaylee came to the decision where I thought this is going to be a one-off chance. We did it mostly via um, Zoom. So I was here in camp while Kaylee was giving birth back home. Well, I said to a few journals that I uh, spoke to on the announcement day, I uh, told them I didn't think I'd get a look in, but I've trained hard, um, tried putting my hand up for selection each week. So yeah, it was, it was a special to be named in the squad. Making it to a World Cup is, is a goal for any, any international rugby player. Um, it's the, it's the, one of the pinnacles of what you can achieve. Getting the call, uh, I think the biggest thing for me was just a sense of relief. Obviously, I didn't, I didn't make the squad four years ago, um, and that was, yeah, that was really disappointing for me. I'd had a sort of a difficult season before that. I'd had a couple of injuries, um, probably hadn't played to my full potential, um, and in the end, I was told that I hadn't done enough to make the squad. Yeah, obviously, hugely, sort of proud and, and relieved to to finally begin going to a World Cup. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Like with the Georgia week, we thought we'd replicate what was going to happen in the World Cup. We went to uh, Murrayfield two days before because that will be happening, I think, for the South Africa game when we're out in France. So yeah, it's, it's something different, something that you've got to react to. Yeah, it was cool. Um, yeah, really cool. It was nice of him to, to come along and, and, and spend some time with the lads. I think he I think he's enjoyed being at the games in the past and he's come into the change room and things, but uh, to actually get some some time to spend with him and, and have a chat, yeah, he's, he's a really nice guy. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Ah, uh, surviving. Hey, how are you? Yeah, real pleasure. I'm going to try and, what's that? Can you come out for any of the games? Uh, hey, nice to meet you. Yes, I'm going to come out for a try and get here for a couple of years. Yeah, all right, how are you doing, all right? Sean, good? Yeah, good. Good, how are you doing? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> see, he, he positions himself perfectly for the camera. <laughs> Spins round. Yeah, I think you could see actually the intensity went up when <laughs> when he arrived on the sideline I thought the the videos that he did for the squad announcement day um, they were seriously cool what was it like watching up? but yeah having having spoken to him he's just a down-to-earth nice guy he's and he supports Scotland rugby so um, yeah it's great to have him around for a couple of days Yeah, we, we always knew that Georgia, like they were going to be up for the game and going to be a physical team. They want to take down Tier 1 Nations and we spoke a little bit about being patient pre-match and I think we probably got caught not doing that. We certainly weren't playing to our potential in that first half. We want to play fast attacking rugby, we want to keep ball in hand. We got a chat at half time where we had to be more direct and then the game would start opening up, which happened in the second half.
glad that we that we we played really well in that second half. I think if we kind of just scraped together a win, it would have been a bit more frustrating. But I'm glad that we that we turned it on and, and played well and, and gave our fans a, a little bit of a show before we left. Yeah, I think it was pretty important. We're not going to be there back there for another six months or so. So to give them a good send off, it was important that we put a good performance in for everybody. have that many people stay behind and, and wish as well um, and then a lot of fans sort of stay late after games and um, just to say well done or um, ask for a picture or autograph and those are special moments that we we enjoy having. Yeah look I'm really excited it's obviously a massive challenge with the group we're in um, but if we want to do well in this tournament we're going to have to beat them at some point so why not first up we believe that we can do it and we're yeah we're really excited to get going and uh, we're desperate to get to France. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, it's going to be special. Um, I got some some of the family coming over to stay. So on the days off, I'll go and visit them. But when we're in camp, it's pretty much at work, ready for the next job. Obviously, we, we take it one week at a time, one game at a time. But um, the, the confidence we have in ourselves, um, the players we have in this squad, we're, we're really looking to do something special in the next couple of months. We just got to, well, we've got to go and do it. But yeah, we're, we're really excited about that prospect.